In this video, I'm going to share 10 side hustles within the real estate field that will not only help you over six figure income, but also help you teach the skills needed to excel as a real estate investor. Namaskar. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Aditya Soma. I'm a real estate agent and lead agent with the Win City real estate team, also an investor. So if you, if that, those are the topics that you're interested in, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any content you know that helps you for investing side and sales side so let's get to today's topic the 10 side hustles and you know, these are like the reason i'm actually sharing this side hustles because you know i was like i was getting a lot of dms nowadays from many young people um who are like you know hey i don't have money and I would like to learn about investing. I love to invest because, you know, I know that investing will, you know, help me to generate passive income and the passive income help me to retire financially. So that's all sounds great. But where do I start? You know, this side hustles, I believe strongly would be the best place to start with, especially if you're starting with no knowledge and no money. So this will lay a solid grounds but also help you make money so that you can take that money and put it back into investing first one go work with some contractor if you have any skills you know the subtrades anything related within the real estate like if you know how to paint or if you know how to do carpentry or if you know how to lay the flooring any skills if you have um, you can find a work with a contractor for that specific trade or if you don't know anything that's totally fine um, I know a lot of students you know they work with my contractors and they get paid like hourly 15 16 dollars but along the side now they can learn different trades while they're working with that con you know the contractor because you know uh, contractors need a good um, laborer who can help him doing different stuff and if if he likes you he'll teach you all the trades um, you know one of my cousin actually started working with one of my contractor as a laborer like he was picking the garbage dumping in the stuff like you know within the site the work site so started with that work and slowly the contractor taught him the painting and then slowly he taught him the drywall work so if you're working hard for that contractor they will eventually uh, teach you all these trades and eventually all these trades will help you understand uh, you know uh, the whole process of renovations which is very crucial because now with that skills you can learn uh, quite a lot like you know that skills you can uh, which can help you to with the investing side because you know if you want to do take on a property now you know how the work has been done in that property if you like the work that has been done now you're you have more confident to buy that property so you know go find a contractor if you don't know someone whichever the city you're in search for real estate investors in that area and ask them for referrals hey um who is your contractor uh, that you're working with so if they give you the contractor number go call them hey i'm a hard-working person i would love to work for you even if you have to for one two three weeks to show your work ethics maybe offer them that you will be working for free for them and the second one go work for a property management company because you know there are a lot of property management companies in your city i'm pretty sure whichever the city you're in they would need people like you know for example um the basic job that they offer is like the leasing um they want to they want someone to lease their rental unit because you know to find the tenants technically and they'll teach you how to do it the basic skills and now you're within the real estate industry you can slowly build a relation with the property manager and understand the whole uh, the you know the investor side and now you're insider so which will help you to find good deals because you know you have you will be managing a bunch of properties and if anyone looking to sell you will be the first one will be notified and you know with the property managements they will be always in communication with the tenants 
they'll be always in communication with the investors they'll be in connection with the contractors so all these different trades so that's a good place to be in and the third hustle maybe find a job with the real estate investor someone who has been investing in in the city that you're looking to invest because you know a lot of investors who are savvy investors would need um, like a admin role or someone to do mailings for them so go find an investor see if they needed a, a someone to help them out start with them because now he's an investor so he can teach you quite a lot if you're dedicated if you're you know hard working person and you show all the right work ethics you'll be able to learn so much and number 4 maybe learn some skills like you know handyman skills that you can do little things and go work for different investors so now you make connections all over the city being that handyman and if you're a loyal handyman now you can have a lot of contacts and also have the job you can make like i, I used to pay uh, till the date i pay my handyman like 25 dollars an hour um so that's a that's a good pay you know more than starting pay um but again of course you got to spend few months to learn those skills if you don't have um but again that's very uh, entry level mm, field i would say and number 5 go do some lawn movings <laughs> i i believe everyone can do lawn movings so do lawn movings by doing lawn movings you can make trust me you can make a lot of money not many people realize because you know uh initially you can do the lawn moving for bunch of people and then you can hire someone for you to do the lawn movings and while you're doing lawn movings you can make connections with the home owners directly and when someone looking to sell or buy now you're the first point of contact um if you make good relations and number 6 maybe become a, a real estate photographer or media guy if that's your skill if you are a good videographer or photographer and you're interested in investing then instead of you know doing a generic photos you can like go within the real estate so every agent need a listing photographer and a lot of investors like me um, who are documenting like on youtube would need a video guy uh, who can help so now you're in in contact with me directly So now you can learn a lot about investing along the way not and at the same time if you do a very good job with the video editing you can make a really good money. So and number 7 if you have like a admin skills if you're like good at with the people skills um go join a real estate agent who is a investor focused because that's very important if you want to learn investing you got to be with the investor focused. The, he will be teaching you quite a lot if you become maybe a, a personal assistant or admin or you know any other role that a real estate investor focused realtor is looking for so go join them number 8 with the real estate focused realtors they do also hire insider sales rep that's one thing in very specific because you will be learning quite a lot about number one real estate and also now selling being an insider sales rep it's you can learn a ton of sales techniques so in return eventually now you can negotiate deals for yourself you know so that's a that's a great place to be in and number 9 one of my favorite one out of all the above eight of course the 10th one is coming that's my most favorite one but the second favorite one is the ninth one whole selling of course you might heard here and there A lot of people now it has been doing wholesaling. Trust me, that's a really great, great role to be in. Number one, by wholesaling, you can make a lot of money. I have seen, you know, a couple of uh, wholesalers who make like over six figures, or even like some people make seven figures. Um, so, what's wholesaling? Basically, it's more like you know, uh, you're putting buyer and the seller in, in like you know. your middleman with no license like a realtor but not a, you don't have a license you're finding the seller who is looking to sell the property urgently and you're finding a buyer who will be buying that property so you're just exchanging the contract between these two guys and you're making the difference so if you're 
if the seller is looking to sell the property for 100,000 and if you flip the contract for the buyer for 120,000, now all of a sudden you made 20,000 cash. And of course, this need a lot of skills. So now you will be learning. And good thing is if you're like brand new, don't do it by yourself. There are a lot of good mentors, especially in this investing, like the wholesaling field, go join them. So they'll teach you. And along the way, if you make deals, if you find properties, they'll pay you as well. So great way to start and great way to learn skills and great way to make money so you can invest back. And last and final, the 10th one, which is my favorite one, is go get your real estate license. And trust me, becoming a real estate agent helps you make a lot of money. And of course, if you don't know me much about on the real estate side, the sales side, go check out my other videos. I showed you know how I made 300,000 in my first year and how I made 540,000 in the second year um, and a lot of other videos that I shared how I was you know uh, making good money and along the way I'm just pumping back that money back into investing so without that money I cannot buy but because with the sales you can make good amount of money and just put it back into investing so and this like become being an agent number one you'll be learning a lot of skills sales skills sales skills is the number one skill that you needed to be an investor because what you need to be in to be a successful investor you need to know how to negotiate a contract and you need to know which one is a good deal or bad deal when you're in a realtor now you will be taught how to come you know pull the comparables how to see um a property value how to find a property value and also you, you have to learn negotiation skills in order to you know find a buyer buy them a property or find a seller sell their property for a top dollar so you gotta know those sales skills that in return that will help you a lot in the investing side and on top of that because you're an in a, a real estate agent you will get the sellers along the way you know maybe some sellers might be in a rush they want to sell quickly now because you're already in the game and you are the first guy will be met meeting them so if you like the deal of course you can say hey i'll buy this deal how much do you want if he says thirty thousand or three hundred thousand and you know that that property on the market is 350 and you tell them hey you know if you want a quick closing i can put it on the market i can sell it for top dollar but if you want a quick closing um i have some money extra i can you know close it in next three weeks um if you if um if you sell it for 300 you know you make that fifty thousand profit so now you got a great deal being that first person in contact so and I can go on and on on the sales, sales uh, being a real estate agent, sales agent. Um, and of course, you know, not only just a real estate agent, you can be a mortgage agent, but focus on the investing side. You can be an insurance broker. Um, I can go on and on all those uh, sales uh, jobs, but the best one is the real estate, uh, real estate agent, the last one. So that's pretty much it. These are all the 10 uh, sub trades, sub, you know, the, hustle side hustles within the real estate field i believe again everyone every role is a great place to start with so go off of your personality like who you are what type of you know skills you have currently if you already have something a related skill go find within that skill one of these 10 or if you know some other side hustle within the real estate that helps to learn real estate investing let me know in the comments below i love to hear and if you watch till there please hit that thumbs up button if you like the content if you don't like it hit the thumbs down whatever i love that feedback you know let me know in the comments how did you enjoy it so with that thank you so much and hope you enjoyed the side hustles and hope to hear see you hustle hard and be a successful investor and achieve financial freedoms. Until then, see you in the next video. Take care.